What's going on everyone, e -Pac Mans is back with another Fortnite video and today I'm very excited, it's Thursday, you guys already know, it's video day, challenge day, Avengers day, oh my gosh, so many good things happening today. Um, first off, Avengers Endgame comes out today, tonight, and I am very excited to watch that, but not only that, you have the Avengers Fortnite collab going on today. And then, obviously, new Week 9 challenges. So we're going to take a look at all of that, minus the movie, unfortunately. I will be taking a look at that myself a little later tonight. But, in terms of Fortnite content, we will be looking at everything that Fortnite has to offer this morning and see what they're bringing to the table. We got that little fort uh, and I we got the little Fortnite Avengers collab right there. Oh look at that. Oh we do get Marvel's Black Widow set. Head to the item shop to purchase Marvel's Black Widow outfit and Avenger set for the two Marvel sets coming to Fortnite. Oh, so that means she's one of two and you know I'm definitely getting it. Get the jet, complete the Marvel's Avengers Endgame challenges to earn free rewards including sprays, banners, and Avengers Quinjet Glider. Okay, Endgame challenge. Complete any 10 to earn this amazing glider. Okay, let's take a look. Deal damage while hovering with Iron Man's repulsors. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Like, I can already tell this game mode is gonna be badass. We're gonna be playing as, like, some Captain America, um, Iron Man. Thor. We're gonna be using all these items, so this is gonna be awesome. Collect Infinity Stones and play matches of Endgame. Sick. And then some of these challenges will unlock later in the day. Or later throughout the week, I should say. Let's take a look at the item shop real quick. Black Widow. Oh, this is too dope. We're getting Black Widow. We're gonna be repping her. And we're just gonna get the whole thing because Black Widow is too badass. So, rest in peace my wallet, um, we are definitely getting, purchasing here, the whole set, honestly, everything. Alright, so here we go, we're gonna get Black Widow, but before I do that, you see even my code my, for myself has ran out, so make sure you type in my code. Make sure you type in my code again because they do expire in 14 days, or after 14 days I should say, and it expired for myself. So here I'm going to put my code in again, ePacman support a creator, going to hit accept, get that check mark, and when you go to purchase at the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see right now, but it says, it's kind of cut off, this purchase helps support ePacman, screenshot it, send it to me and I'll give you guys a shout out. But you already know I am purchasing Black Widow, Black Widow's too dope. We Oh, and then you see it right there. This purchase helps support you, Pac-Man. So I really appreciate you guys if you do that. We're going to get everything. We're going to get this thing. Of course. And then what else? We're going to get this thing too. Because why not? So my Black Widow is set. Amazing. But you guys already know what we're here for. We're here for the Week 9 challenges first. And let's take a look at what we have. Stage 1 of 5, Land at Loot Lake, where we've been doing these challenges all season long. Easy peasy. Search chest at Polar Peak or Lonely Lodge, again that's really easy. Ride 3 different volcano vents without landing. Um, I guess I'm going straight to the volcano area for that. Then for the Battle Pass challenges we have Stage 1 of 3, Dance Between 3 Ice Sculptures. I will be showing you guys where the ice sculptures are at. Then deal damage to opponents from below. Uh, we've done that before. Revive a teammate at a reboot van. Okay, and then eliminate an opponent in different matches. Perfect. Let's get started on these challenges. First, landing at Lou Lake. 
Oh, by the way, guys, Team Rumble is back, so make sure you hit Team Rumble, and then we will definitely be working on Endgame. So it's the first one, uh, land at Loot Lake. Okay, let's go land at Loot Lake. I'm so happy Team Rumble's back, because not only do I like it for challenges, I actually like playing it in general. Let's see if Loot Lake has changed, and it doesn't really look like it's changed. This thing hasn't opened up or anything like that. Alright guys, so I need to eliminate three different opponents, or excuse me, five opponents in different matches, which I'm going to focus on here in a sec. But we are in the volcano area, so let's see if we can get the vents. Let's see, that's one. Two. And three. And just for kicks, we'll even add a fourth. So there, there you go, we did like four volcano events, so just come over here to the volcano area and you will get that challenge done in no time. So like as I was saying before, we do have to eliminate opponents in five different matches. This is going to be my first opponent right here. There you go. So that's one match. So another interesting challenge that you can knock off hopefully right away is deal damage from below to opponents so this time it isn't from above it's from below so like the, let's see if this counts for example oh this guy got taken out well i'm pretty sure like obviously if somebody's gliding in i could probably deal damage and that counts that should count i was below him right Yeah, it did. It did count for 59. Somewhere around here. Okay, so that's 231 damage from below so far. Oh, that counted as below just because he was up that hill. Got some damage there, and I just disintegrated, I guess. Oh, so we actually got the challenge done. I don't know if you guys can see on the side. Deal damage to opponents, 500 from below, 500 out of 500. And by the way, another side note, I'm like the only one with this Black Widow skin, which is totally badass, so I'm digging it. Okay, this is a glitch, guys. It says we won, but we clearly lost. So, I don't know. Okay, so we got a few challenges completed there. That first game, we did the deal damage to opponents from below, ride three different volcano events without landing, and we landed at Loot Lake. So now we have to land at Lucky Landing. So land at Lucky Landing, check. So we're gonna go to where we have to dance between the ice sculptures, and it should be around here. Oh, there are the ice sculptures. I can't believe I passed them. So you guys, I'll show you guys in a sec. Let me just dance real quick before it's too late. We're gonna do the Widow's pirouette. Nice. And just so you guys know, right over here. I marked the wrong circle, but yeah, right outside, right west, Porter Peak, right there. Next we're going to do a dance between three dinosaurs. So you guys can see the dinosaurs on the map already. Here's one, there's two, and there's three. So I'm going to land right there, right in the middle of all of them. So you guys can already see, I'm approaching these three big dinosaurs. And we just got to dance in the middle of them. And then uh, I feel like playing a little saxophone, if you guys know what I'm saying. So, here we go. This looks to be the spot. Perfect. And then last but not least, stage three, three, dance between four hot springs, and I'm sure you guys can already guess where I'm going for those hot springs. So as if it couldn't be any more obvious, you just have to go up here to the springs and dance. And also, just a quick tip since I am landing here right now, 
you guys can do the volcano events all around here look at this so feel free to come here too to the springs for the volcano event and i think i'm gonna get shot down by that guy but let me let me get this challenge out of the way first done now i'm gonna go elim because that's a challenge Got him. That's two elims in two different matches. All right, now I'm gonna land at Salty Springs. Land at Salty Springs, check. Stage four or five, land at Lonely Lodge. And this coincides with the search chest at Polar Peak or Lonely Lodge. So make sure you guys kind of save the land at Lonely Lodge when it's convenient for you guys. Oh, perfect, so Lonely Lodge. I need to search chest and I need to land there. Um, it's gonna be a hot drop though. So that's a one. So that's two. Not bad. Not bad for a hot drop, if you ask me. So, that's my third elimination. In three different games. So lastly, we gotta land at Haunted Hills. Okay, so I'm trying to land at Haunted Hills, but it was way across the whole map. Um, so this is definitely enemy side, so hopefully I get a, maybe a weapon and get a quick elim here, but who knows. I hear people, that's for sure. Oh, and I do see a chest, so then this might not go as bad as I thought. There we go, that's the quick elim, we got it. Alright, I'm gonna go to enemy side, polar peak, in hopes of getting some chests and eliminations. The chest is not really like yeah, I can already tell. Probably a lot of people already landed or are landing. Ooh, there's one chest, nice. We got another over here. Oh, not bad. This is way better than what I had anticipated. Easy elimination. Nice. And we got that five out of five elims. Need two more chests, and I hear one already. There we go, right on cue. All right, one more chest. There it is. Got him. And I'm gonna help my boy. Now I'm gonna help my boy Danny get some chest. What do we have, Danny? Oh, really? Don't worry, I'm helping you. And this is why you play with friends, ladies and gentlemen. To help each other out. Alright guys, so what I recommend doing, you get a buddy, do duos, load up, and make sure one of them, one of you guys takes one for the team, and then just, you know, revive them, pick up their card and revive them. Alright guys, we chose to come to Lucky Landing just because we feel like not many people will be here, and then I know there's a reboot van here for sure. All right, so you guys see here, my buddy is going to take one for the team. So now, all you guys got to do is just not revive him. And make sure you pick up this card once he is eliminated. And 
And then to make it easy for you guys, you guys can stand right by the reboot van, which is right over here. And just so you guys are nice to your friend, make sure your friend has the party assist on, as you guys can see right there. Uh, my friend has the party assist on, that way he'll get credit for this challenge too. Easy challenge. And I party assisted my friend, so we both got credit. Alright guys, this is the loading screen, Loot Lava, for week number 9. We're going to take a look at it here in a sec, and then I'm going to show you guys where the secret battle star slash banner is at. Alright guys, here's the loading screen. And I don't know if you guys can see it faintly in the back, you can see like a boat. And it looks like the Viking ship. So we're gonna head out to the Viking Village and see if we can find the Battle Star. All right, guys. For those that don't know, Viking Village is located over here, B6. It is enemy territory, so we'll see if we get shot down or not. Oh, right here. So you guys can see it right here. So it's not up top, but it is literally on the boat. And that is it for week nine, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. What are you guys doing? Also, make sure to hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see me do the end game challenges. I'll be more than happy to do them for you guys. Which I'm going to do them for myself, so I might as well show you. Also, if you guys are looking to get this badass Black Widow skin, make sure you use my support a creator code, EPACFANS, to purchase this awesome skin. I think it's really dope. And then there's also going to be another one that's going to be released soon. I'm not sure when, and I'm not sure who it's going to be, but I'm a big fan of Black Widow, so I purchased everything, as you guys saw earlier in the video. So other than that, this is week 9. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.